Well, hello there, friends. Welcome back. George here with Killer Hearts, and today we are talking about a new content bank from Camellia. It's called Microwave Proof, and as you'd expect from Camellia, it's full of that kind of high-energy, high-octane, front-edge sounding stuff that could be useful in modern electronica, uh, house and bass styles, and kind of video game music, of course, uh, rhythm game stuff. You've got a bunch of basses and uh, effects, risers and so on leads, uh, percussion ideas here, and plucks and mallets. So we're going to go through a few of these sounds in the context of a simple little beat I've made using the content bank. That sounds like this. Just a simple little loop, but you can already hear there's a ton of front edge, ton, ton of energy. It leans forward and makes you want to feel more. So the sequence at the top here is a bass patch called bop sequence and on its own it just sounds like this which as you can hear is already really leaning forward into the next beat as these lovely spiky syncopated sounds going on and a lot of high end high energy uh, you've got a lot of higher frequencies in there to really bite through the mix so that's taking a bit of a lead role there's also this hype patch which is called whoop whoop the good old electro sound that goes whoop whoop and that does go whoop whoop actually it sounds like that and simple though it may be it's incredibly useful little stab there uh, you can have a little listen to these toms also which is uh, from the percussion uh, folder here there's a bunch of little beginnings a little idea uh, for a variety of different sounds and this is the toms <coughs> And almost without even touching the macros, we've got a cool sound right there. But we could, for example, uh, tweak the pitch. Add or relieve some treble. And uh, we could bring in some more room sound. And take away the gate on the reverb there if we want. But I like it about there. Really easy to work with. And finally, I've made a little uh, impact sound out of one of the effects patches. Just sounds like this. And I've added this LFO and this filter. That is optional extra. Um, we can take away the uh, trance gate as well. And you just get that lovely original screech sound. But with the gating and the addition of this timed filter, it becomes a nice impact sound so all of that together will add some bass to it i think first of all and let's dive into the basses folder as you can see we've got a bunch of choices wobbles and growls and uh, a few other bits and pieces let's try this 809 kick bass which i suppose is an amalgamation of ideas very nice uh how about donk bass Mm -mm -mm. But I want to try out microwave growl in this particular mix because it's got a lot of exciting overtones to offer. I want to in introduce that to the sound and see if we can get some real subby energy going. Are we ready? Nice stuff. What about one of these wobbles, maybe? Uh... <laughs> nice. As you can hear, there's a lot of really different, but all entirely high quality sounds here. Oh, I like that. Let's try that just with the beat. We're bringing some sub in there. Now, let's try out a few leads in here as well, because there's a variety of interesting sounds in there as well. There's this one called Meow Lead, which I think is probably the mascot of the pack. Uh, the microwave-proof cat is a part of Camellia lore, and this Meow Lead... ...is a lot of fun. And, of course, lots of uh, nice 
macros, number of cats. Introduce a bit of glow. And some ambience. And you can make it into a more artificial synthy sound with the wave shape there. I'm generating artificial syncopations by my latency. A lot of fun. Um, let's try out also this hardcore detuned lead, which is just bizarre. It's beyond bonkers, and I love it. That is a sound that has never apologized for anything, and I can't say I don't like it. What about uh, sync pog? Yeah, let's try that with the mix. Nice stuff. And there's another one which I really rather like that has some uh, formanty stuff going on. Uh, I don't think it is that one. Which one is it? Uh, this one. Let's try this. <laughs> it's a really nice kind of analogy sound, that one. And the mod wheel introduces that oscillation. Let's try this one too. Yeah, so, I mean, that's just a very small sample of what's available there, but you can tell how much fun I'm having. Um, let's take a quick peek at a couple of the other percussion sounds here. Um, I wanted to just highlight this clap, because it's a smooth sound with an option of a reversey uh, tail there. Uh, and I like it a lot. You can obviously pitch that around. This is, like I say, a sort of a template to build your own stuff. There's a snare to mix in or take out. Um, this tube percussion, it's one of these kind of boom whackery sounds. A lot of fun. And uh, then I just wanted to dive into the plucks and mallets folder for a moment too, um, because there's some unusual noises in here. Tell me that isn't a radio ready sound. And Koto Pluck available there, which uh, has some interesting stuff going on in the macros reel here. So, beyond the obvious in this pack, You've also got some really interesting textured stuff. This uh, ringy bell has a cool kind of uh, uh, takeaway on the end. Using the reverser to bring about some unusual uh, comebacks. So as you can see, a really, really fun bank. I have to say, I've been enjoying playing with this one myself a great deal. And it's incredibly versatile, because you would think that all of this really uh, vibrant front edge stuff would be a little wearing, but it just isn't. There's more than that kind of driving sound available here. You've also got some really atmospheric stuff, 
some really colorful stuff and it all comes with its own different moods uh, so there's a lot to explore here i would advise you to go and check it out on the killer hearts website and enjoy to the max and come back and tell us what you think so with no further ado go ahead and enjoy it and we'll speak to you soon thanks very much goodbye